Thank you for taking the time to come to speak to us. My colleague and I have a few questions that we'd like to ask you just to get your opinion on a few um, salient, salient matters. Uh, the first question being, um, how would you define cultural diplomacy? And uh, if you're able to give us any examples of cultural diplomacy initiatives from Mauritius. Well, I think uh, diplomacy and cultural means that uh, there are several cultural uh, around the world and we need to know the different uh, cultural uh, of each uh, community, if you want. Uh, for example, in Mauritius, uh, Mauritius is a rainbow of communities. Uh, you, we have people from the African origin, Asian origin, uh, European origin, so it's like a rainbow of people in Mauritius. And this is the strength of Mauritius. Even uh, uh, in terms of language, we speak many languages. Uh, we speak French, English, and Creole minimum. So if we are uh, from the Asian uh, community, which is probably Indian or uh, Chinese or Muslim, we could probably speak Mandarin, uh, Hindi or Arabic. So it's like this, minimum three languages and plus probably one more language. That's absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Uh, uh, how do you think uh, the youth of today can be helped to to be educated um, in sustainable tourism? In fact, uh, there are great opportunities in tourism for the youth, whether in Mauritius or around the world. And in Mauritius, I can tell you that uh, the, the hospitality uh, is uh, on the high side, which, is, which means that Mauritius is very well known uh, when we talk about uh, tourism, uh, about service in hotels, and we have among the best hotels in the world which are in Mauritius. We have from the high, very high end to the middle ones. As, uh, as my colleague just said, we need to uh, have uh, all types of tourism, right? Not put all the eggs in one basket which is uh, very dangerous, in fact. This is why when I came as uh, the new Minister of Tourism uh, since uh, last three years, I've started to diversify on new markets because at that time we were concentrating only from Europe. And, and, and once uh, upon a time, 75% of our tourists were from Europe, which is very dangerous. Europe remains very important for research, but we need to find also new markets every year. So today it's around 52-53% from Europe, so it's quite balanced now. From 75 to 52 it's quite okay. Yeah. But actually your target uh, audience for the tourism from only from Europe or Asia or Africa? From everywhere, in fact. Or from yeah. everywhere, yeah. In fact, uh, let me give you some numbers. Yeah. The number one for us is uh, French, oh. 250,000 of mm -hmm. French visits Mauritius every year. Then we have uh, number two, Réunion Island, which is a French island okay. uh, with about 140 uh, people from uh, Réunion Island. Number three is UK almost 100,000 of tourists from UK. Number four uh, is South Africa, almost 100,000. Number five is Germany, around 60,000. It's a large number. Yeah. And are these annual figures? Is this is the year? figure of last year. Very good. Yeah. How about uh, Asia come to Mauritius? It's, for example, um, like Indonesia, perhaps? No, Indonesia, very low. Oh, OK. Uh, but China? Uh, Four years ago, there was no Chinese coming to Mauritius. Then we started uh, four years ago. It was at a certain time 7,000 a year, then 14,000, then 20,000, then last year 42,000. We hope to reach minimum 60,000 in 2014. Oh, yeah. okay. India, we have around 60,000 of Indian tourists every year. Mm. And I guess it can only grow. Really, almost, yeah. It almost yeah, one million well. tourists uh, last year in 2013. That's very well done. Yeah, mm -hmm. but uh, Mauritius is known as a very high-end tourist in Mauritius. Yeah, yeah. But because it, 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 for example, it, it's uh, quite expensive to oh. go to Mauritius. The airfare, for example, 
uh, is uh, at least around 1,200 euros minimum. Sometimes it goes to 2,000. And this is economy class. Eh? And if we talk about business class in December, it's sometimes 8,000 euros per person. That's yeah. quite dear. Yeah. That's quite expensive. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and when we talk uh, about the destinations, sometimes are compared with the uh, Chanel bag. For Chanel example, oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah, because it's very expensive, yeah. and the Chanel bag also. You, sometimes you don't have it. You don't have a color that you like or whatever. You know, uh, for Mauritius, sometimes you don't have seats. Why it's expensive? Because when you want to have a business class, there is only 30 seats, and why there's no seats, and the price goes up. It's like this. This is why it's 8,000 euros. That's very interesting. Uh, what impact would you say tourism has had in the creative industries in Mauritius? And what sectors in the creative industries would you say have been impacted by tourism? Well, in fact, uh, you know, um, in terms of uh, to, uh, businesses, the SMEs can have uh, a great opportunity to sell to, to the tourists. The handicraft sector, um, which is uh, very good, in fact, because each time when the tourists uh, goes to Mauritius, they look for uh, souvenirs. So mm. the handicraft could be a great uh, one, in fact. So uh, I'll, I would like to ask you um, about the what is your uh, project in order to promote Mauritius to around the world, the big project. Well, in fact, um, it's quite difficult to uh, market Mauritius 100% mm -hmm. in all countries. Right? We need to be selective because, first of all, it costs a lot yeah, to do marketing. <laughs> so we need to be selective. As I have said, uh, we have uh, done uh, marketing only in Europe 10 years ago. Mm -hmm. Then we started to diversify recently. And uh, today, I can say that we can see the results. Uh, as I have said, no Chinese was coming. Yeah. There was no Russian at a certain of time. Today, we have a lot of people from the Eastern Europe. We have uh, the Arabs are coming. So we have Japanese coming. We have uh, Korean coming. We have Indians coming. So we have South Africans coming. And uh, this year, in 2014, we will put a special emphasis on Africa like the Kenyan, uh, Nigerian, um, Mozambique, and so on. So every year, we need to look for new markets. This is the strategy. Ah, okay. Good. And what is the unique and, one? And what we do normally, we have to do a lot of awareness. Uh, mm. For example, in some countries, Mar Mauritius is not known. Mm. Uh, when we are not known, we need to work on the awareness. This is why we do a lot of the tools in Mauritius. Uh, we bring uh, the media in Mauritius. We bring uh, the tour operators in Mauritius because the tour operators, when they sell Mauritius, they need to know Mauritius when they sell. They cannot sell a product without knowing what is the product. Yeah, For example, somebody talk about uh, piracy. There's no piracy in Mauritius. Uh, so Mauritius mm -hmm. is very secure, no problem at all. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Yeah. As I have said, Mauritius is a paradise. Mark Twain said that, not me, Mark Twain, <laughs> the author. Paradise is a copy of Mauritius. Mm, that's a very good selling yeah. point. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and in Mauritius, it's not only beach destination. Yeah. Mauritius is known as a beach destination. Very nice weather, very nice beaches, white sand, but you can do a lot of things more than just beach and, and sea and sand. So, for example, you can do shopping, you can uh, play golf, you can uh, go for sightseeing, you can go to the safari, you can walk with a lion, you can uh, go to see the crocodile park, you can go to the bird park, you can touch the crocodile, the small ones, not the big ones. <laughs> you can touch the lions. <laughs> the lions are big ones. Eh? They, but is it okay you can to touch, touch, yeah, I did it. Oh, yeah, safe. don't worry. Okay. <laughs> we have sports tourism, 
Kitesurfing is becoming very important in Mauritius. Every year we have a lot of competition and a lot of Russians uh, come to Mauritius for kitesurfing every year. We have golf competition. A lot of hotels does uh, a golf uh, competition. And every year we have international golf competition in Mauritius. So a lot of things to do, not just beaches, not just like, uh, it's also a business place. Uh, a lot of people come to Mauritius for business. A lot of people come for mice, for the mice segment. Mm -hmm. A lot of people come for honeymoon. As oh, I have said, yes, Mauritius before, yeah. has been awarded the best honeymoon destination worldwide uh, recently by World Travel Awards. It was oh. in November, three months ago. Oh, fantastic, yeah. fantastic. And for the last three years, best honeymoon destination in the uh, Indian Ocean, last three oh. years. So, great place for the lovers, yeah. for the honeymooners. <laughs> we will go there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you need to. Yeah, you need sure. to visit. Do you think that tourism is then a way to explain the economic sustainability of the country? Well, in fact, it helps a lot. In, in, in fact, it helps the economy. And uh, also, uh, in Mauritius, we have us, well, we have uh, come with policies so that uh, the hotels must come with uh, new types of sustainable uh, development, such as, for example, uh, for water heaters, we need to come with uh, solar water heaters, you know, mm. so they have to adapt. They need to come with, uh, with desalination plant, for example. So they are coming, uh, they are doing a lot of stuff like that. So things can only get better, really. Yeah. yeah. It's a very good story. Well, so we hope to reach one million of tourists this year. So. I uh, take this opportunity to invite you to come to Paradise. Thank oh, you. Thank you. Yeah, this is worship, yeah. We will do our best. Thank yeah. you very much for your time. It's a pleasure. Uh, yeah. It's also been an honor and a privilege yeah. for us to have yeah. you here. This with is us. our branding. Mauritius is a pleasure. Oh, Fantastic. that's Fantastic. a tourism campaign? Yeah. Okay. That's very good. Yeah, yeah. In India, it's incredible India. Mauritius, Ingr yeah. Mauritius is a pleasure. It's a pleasure. Yeah. yeah. That's very cool. good. Thank you very Thank much. You. Thank you so much. Yeah.